Have you wondered how to stitch feather borders? Well, Karen Overton is going to show us, and she's also going to show us how to stitch our sashing and our quilts, and plus, she's going to show us her feather puffs. Now, it's not a candy, it's not a cereal. It's actually a very versatile design which will fit about anywhere you want to put it. Karen, feathers in borders and sashing and fill. What's not to love about that? Everyone loves feathers. Mm -hmm. And again, you just need to try and go ahead and just be free with them and have fun. Mm -hmm. Once you've learned that basic making the round top, which you did mm -hmm. so well, thank you. You want to then just grow with it. And feathers can take on a whole life form of their own. I do. I would like to show you just a couple that are some of my favorites that I use a lot on my quilts. Okay. Um, I don't have a name for it, it's just feathers. <laughs> what I like to do, I have a lot of people ask me, especially new quilters, how do you turn the corner? Yes. Or how do you advance and keep going? Well, my little secret of that is divide and conquer. What I'm doing is I'm taking half of the quilt and I'm gonna quilt this direction with my feathers. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna take this half and quilt this direction. They get to kiss in the middle. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. And then I'll do the same thing going lengthwise. And so that way I'm not having to worry which way I'm going around the quilt. I can quilt it generally in one pass, mm -hmm. okay? And even the ones that are here, I can advance and still keep quilting on without having to break the thread and just advance the quilt. So this is just an example of where we're going. We're going to have a road map of some wavy uh, feathers here in this border. And this one is a really deep wave. And this one's kind of funny. It gives you a lot of movement to a quilt. It works best in a narrow sashing because mm -hmm. otherwise it can get too leggy. And feathers need to be free and flowing. Yes. This one, I break that little rule because there's no any rules in quilting. <laughs>